Welcome back everyone to the complete pine leaf. We are back here in the jewel's dead where I am ready to report back what I've heard from Heal and we'll find out whether or not all the gem cutter wants to kill him. Heal tail spinner always speaks such nonsense. What stories did Heal spin today? Mm, utter rubbish and nonsense. Everyone knows that King Brand and Nine Airfoot fought side by side before the gates of the Lonely Mountain. And when the King of Dale fell, the King Under the Mountain fought to protect his ally's body from the ravages of his foes, seizing only when he too was slain. And a machine powered by a fire grim? How could the Jagavar have ever constructed such a device, or tamed such a spirit? <laughs> That's an absurdity! But none of these are as unbelievable as that tale of the Far Gotho. Bah! If such a city ever existed, it would have been found by now. Preposterous drivel! Preposterous drivel. Well, that's what he says. And it looks like I get a couple of level 116 enhancements. Those would be my first. I must take this matter before King Thorin. Those would be my first 116 enhancements, though I can't use them yet because I'm not yet 116. And yet, none of these tales are as personally offensive to me as the gossip he spreads about my family. It seems he will not stop until he is forced to stop, Pine Leaf. I must talk, take this matter before King Thorin. Only the king under the mountain can prevail upon Heel to cease his rumor mongering. Will you speak on my behalf before the king? I trust you and no others to help me with this, my friend. Tell me. If you're willing, and we will petition the King Thorn together. Yeah, I think we can go and speak to the King. I will hear this complaint, but not at my throne. I will go among the people. Here, well. This is highly irregular. Why does a King choose not to hear this grievance at his throne? Would he not be more comfortable on the high seat? I am sure that he has his reasons. My king, this is most irregular. I wish to go amongst the people, Hoister. Should they not be more often? Yes, I have spent some time and thought about these past few days. Many are the dangers arrayed before our people. It is my burden to choose for them which of these threats to oppose. Come now, Althe. What is your complaint? My king, it is some brought to my attention that Keel has spread false tales about my family. Piney heard one such tale from a customer of ours, and later from Keel himself. What false tales are these? Keel claims my family's craft skill has declined. He claims that we plan to leave the mountain in disgrace. Such lies will make my dear mother's beard go gray. Is this true, Keel? I don't know if his mother's beard will go gray. It's outrageous, scoundrel! <laughs> Remember, you speak to your king, Keel. King Thorin, I am no longbeard. I am of the Jaruka. But I speak to you with respect. That will be enough. Do you deny the truth of these claims, Jaruka? Each of my stories is built around truth, King Thorin. I have arrived at a judgment. King Thorin, 
May I say one thing first? Go ahead. It is a point of pride for me to be so many dwarves listen to my stories. This is true, they say for some. This is untrue, they say for others. I know you experience that too. What do you mean? You named your son Durin. It is a name of great import. Some doors say the name signifies that he will do great things. Others say it's just a name. But I say he will grow into the name. <laughs> Flattering the king. I say he'll be Durin the Thethless come again. That's enough, Jaruka. Finally, may I have a word? Yes? Keel seeks to flatter me, but I'm too wise a king to fall prey to such a tactic. I named my son Durin for my own reasons, and I do not feel the need to share them with Longbeards or with Joruka. He stays now in Yarnfast with my brother Nine, Lord of the Iron Hills, and he will be king after me. If he is to be anything else, he is certainly beyond the sight of this Jaruka. Hmm. <laughs> During the Deathless come again. Hmm. Imagine that. Maybe he's not so immune to it as he thinks. Uh, this is my judgment. Keel, you have stayed in Erebor for long enough. You must depart. From what land do you hail? My father, Brunit, kept a home in Yarnfast. I have not been there for many years. Yarnfast, you say? How fortunate! It guides my further commands. I'll see, Gem Cutter, you will accompany Keel to Yarnfast. Then you may return. Uh, but my king! I cannot oversee every little feud between dwarves. I understand, my king. Finally, I ask that you accompany Althe and Keel on this errand. And speak to my brother Nain at the Iron Foot and bring my son Durin back home. It is time that he learned the ways of the king. That is all. Well, yep. Always be careful when you petition a king. The king ruled in my favor. Why then do I feel that he also ruled against me? Did I win? Or did I lose? Ah, welcome to politics. What do you say about the judgment, Alfie? I am pleased King Thorin ruled in my favor, but... I cannot help but feel that in some respect I'm being punished for bringing the matter to Thorin. Now, we have to escort Heel to my father's home in Yarnfast. Bah! Let him travel there by himself. I suppose I should gather my belongings for the journey. At least Keel's gossip has stopped, and he will no longer trouble my family in Erebor. That is surely worth the trip to Ironfold, right, Pine Leaf? Well, I suppose so. You should check in with Gandalf before we leave. Yes, I'll meet you outside the entrance to the Lonely Mountain after I've gathered the things that I'll need for the journey and said goodbye to my mother and brother. It will be not long. We gem cutters are not especially sentimental. If you have any preparations to make before we set out to the Ironfold, I suggest you make them. You might want to check with Gandalf before we leave. I don't know him very well, but I know enough about wizards to tell you that they do not like surprises. Tell him we will be away for a few days, so if he has need of you, he will know where you might be found. King Thorn ordered 
that a room be set aside for the wizard somewhere in the dwelling halls. Yes, I've been told about that. So, uh, let's go. I hope he's not too upset about me disturbing him. Oh, there you are. I, I have been, been deep in study. Yes, I've been studying several historical accounts concerning the struggles of Durin's folk. Many are the hardships that they have faced, more than a few of their own making, but these accounts do not agree on all particulars. Dragons feature prominently, as you might expect, and I see the hand of Karasgard work in some of the events that befell the dwarves in that area. Hmm. What? King Thorin asked you to travel the yarn fast. Hmm. So, Thorin believes that it's time for Durin to learn the ways of the king, does he? That's new. Thorin is stubborn, as most of his family, and I thought his decision to keep Durin from harm or difficulty would last longer than this. Why the change, I wonder? Hmm. Well, safe travels to you, Pine Leaf. Keep one eye open for Karasgar or his agents while you travel to the Ironfold. I will see you when you return. Alright, well, he doesn't seem to be too upset, so let's head out to the entrance of the Lonely Mountain. Well, this looks like a merry bunch, all ready for a journey. I have not been back to my father's home in Yarnfas for many years. Were it not for the command of King Thorin, I would not return home now. But I cannot remain here if the king under the mountain orders me to leave. Shelruka, do not answer to Longbeards, but I will not gainsay the word of a king. So, we will be traveling companions for a short while, Pineleaf. I suppose I welcome the company, even if the son of Funi Jim Cutter does not. Well, all right. Well, what do you say about that, Dolphy? We are to escort Kiel to Yarnfast. And that we will do. Yeah, I'm here, despite my wish to be elsewhere. Sure, Kiel could find his own way back to his father's old home, but you will not hear me speak crosswise to King Thorn's command. We are to escort Kiel to Yarnfast, and that ye we will do. I will only grumble about it a little, and beneath my beard. Mother Amma suggested that we make the most of the journey into the Iron Fold, since the gem cutters do not often travel out that way. Yeah, that sounds like your mother. And she has made a list of suggested activities for us to pursue along the way. A gem cutter always seeks to make things better for those that they meet, she says, and I could not possibly argue with that. So, her list consists of a few tasks she recommended we complete to keep the land and its people safe, as well as a number of family friends to the Ironfold that we have not seen in some time that we might visit. I do not feel particularly strongly about which of these tasks we complete, so I'll leave that decision making to you, Pineleaf. Why not choose four of these errands to carry out on our way to Yarnfast? Uh, no, Keel, you do not get to say in the matter. This is your fault, and you're lucky that we let you speak on this journey at all. You leave the decisions to me and Pineleaf. All right, let's see. I need to visit Mether, a friend of the Gem Cutters who lives in Hammerstead, find an entrance to the town of Utterby, defeat insects in the Ironfold, defeat beasts in the Ironfold, defeat Easterlings throughout the Iron. Where are Easterlings? Oh, their Easterlings are all over the place. Visit Arain, a friend of the Gem Cutters who lives in Yarnfast but is likely fishing in the Red Water. And look at the cleft edge in Skull's Drop to survey the lands below. Well, I guess I could defeat all sorts of things and... Well, maybe visit a couple of people. Who knows? I'm sure I'll be able to do at least four of them. Here's some lynxes. I suppose they count as beasts to battle here. 
So perhaps I should take care of a few of these in the area. And that may help to make things a little bit safer. Oh, oh and, and of course wolves. Even more important on that matter. So yes, let's deal with some of the local wildlife. And perhaps Mother Alzma will be happy that we have completed some of her tasks, right? Because I know how much she is reminding us on how we need to follow the rules of her household. I'm not too sure this Lynx is happy about that though. Here we are at Utterby. Hmm. That does not look like a banner for Utterby. So let's see if we can check out the entrance. And, yep. It looks like we've got Easterlings here. But, this one seems to keep cats. Lots of cats. Well, I just have to deal with them. Oh, East... Well, that one died quickly. It looks like I'm going to find plenty of Easterlings to deal with here. Oops. The town of Utterly is occupied by the Jagabar, who now call it Shamo. Alright. They, they utterly changed the name of Utterby. Wait, that one's tough. And now it's your turn. Good. Ah. Ah, the red water. Yeah, I can see where it gets its name. Hmm. I would have guessed that it was red from a type of clay, but... Seeing that these are the Iron Hills, maybe it's rust instead. Oh, I guess this is Irene. The fishing has been poor. I suspect the Easterlings are to blame somehow. You're fortunate that you caught me, Alfie. I was about to head back to the city. Empty-handed, I'm afraid. The fishing's been poor for a fortnight. I suspect the Easterlings are to blame, in some measure, for a portion of the Jagafar came here on their way on the way west. I understand they joined more of their number who are coming up the drop, but my work does not take me out by Utterby, so I didn't see that with my own eyes. Well, I went by Utterby and it was filled with Easterlings. Oh, what brings you to the Ironfold, Dolphy? Your family as well, I hope. Uh-huh. Yes. I'm sure that I will have something for you too, Pine Leaf, if the fish ever resume biting. Until next we meet, friends. Alright. Well then, that takes care of the errands, because I checked out Utterby, I killed Easterlings, I thinned out some beasts in the area. And I spoke with the fisher. So now, to Yarnfast. Yarnfast. Red. Hmm. I really like the color red in this area. This place must be full of iron ores all over the place. At least that's going to be my guess. It certainly doesn't look like clay to me. Now, let's see what we've got around here. I guess up this way? Oh, I need to tag the stable master. Greetings. Uh, let's see, what would be a good place to... Grab that one for now. 
Now, up the stairs. The Iron Fort of the Dwarves. Well, it was called the Iron Fort, then most definitely iron then. You have my thanks, finally, for coming with me it to Yarnfast. It has many years since last I was here. It's been last year, not since before my father brought and I fell out of our friendship. He died sometime after that, before we were ever reconciled, and I can saw no reason to return. I suppose now I should put his house into order. You and Alfie are welcome to visit me there any time. I would appreciate the company. My father's house is on a ramp opposite the entrance. Well, I'll visit you. I have a feeling that Alfie might not be so inclined, right? <laughs> you may do if you like, Pine Leaf, but I shall not be visiting Heel, not unless my king commands me to do so. Yes. I had a feeling you'll be saying that. I had a feeling. Oh, oh actually, no, this. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness gracious. This is a major upgrade. That's for sure. Well, that's probably because there isn't any light on this one. Oh, yes. So what do you plan on doing then? Come find me when you are ready to return to the Lonely Mountain. I'm going to find a tavern and spend some coin and some time while you go about the second part of the errand. I have heard that the quenching trough is quite good. Look for me there if you need me. King Thorn's younger brother, Nine, is lord of the Iron Fort, and you should find him at his throne atop the northern ramps. They call him Nine the Slakeless now, for his appetite for battle cannot be quenched. I heard his deeds during the Siege of Erebor were quite extraordinary. No doubt he'll tell you of them. Once he is done, it is to be hoped that he will consent that his nephew Durin be traveling back to us into the, from through the Ironfold. Come find me when you have Durin in your company and are ready to return to the Lonely Mountain. Alright, fine. I will find the Slakeless in our next episode of The Complete Pine Leaf.